doing is just trying to get some interesting images with this. More so uh, to see about uh, the possibilities of using my still camera much bright the possibilities of using my still camera to do some images This is a bright light. Put it behind a. Let's see here if I can put it behind. So there we go. It's not very bright now. Hmm. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Do do do. That's pretty scary. It's an interesting image. Interesting. psychedelic a bit of blue I use this uh, blue uh, marker and put a uh, a little a little mark on the flashlight. Ah, interesting. Oh. It's late. It's late here. I uh, I had gone to bed and I got a phone call at 11.30 at night from a friend of mine in California. 
he's a uh, he's a good friend of mine. He he was a he was my biggest uh, patron in Los Angeles when I was there. And he, uh, how I met him was I was on the street selling, I had two paintings that I took down to the street. And I was going to sell these paintings because I needed money. So I took these paintings downtown Los Angeles, which was within walking distance of where I lived. And uh, it was a place there called the Sight Gallery. And I knew the director of that place, a guy named Francis Forlenza. It was a very interesting character. And uh, we were friends. And so I uh, <clears throat> so I was down talking to him about what my plans were to do with these paintings, and there was a, a place that was up the street from the site gallery, which was I think they call it the gallery. I'm not sure. I think it's on. I can't remember the street. Figueroa, maybe? I can't remember. It was really close to, it was in downtown. And, uh, I said, I'm going to go up here and sell these paintings, try and sell these paintings. And in the process of me talking to this guy, there was a homeless guy on the street listening to this conversation. And he said, uh, well, you know, if you go there, that's mostly, uh, mostly, t mostly, what did he say? Yeah, I don't remember what he said about the place, but the type of people that frequented there. But if you go over to this other place, and it was a place, uh, it was a coffee shop that was on the corner, and it catered to all these bit local businesses that were right there. And so I said, okay, I'll try that. So I went over there, and that's where I met my patron, the guy that just got through calling me on the phone. And every time I saw that homeless guy, I gave him five bucks. Every time I saw him. I only saw him a couple of times after that, but if I saw him, I gave him five bucks because I sold this guy both of my paintings, and I really needed the money at that time. And uh, it was real interesting because I sold him the paintings never – Never thinking that I'd probably ever see the guy again. Okay, but I gave him my phone number and everything. And it was really funny that uh, I think it was a woman that was with him or his secretary had said, ah, oh, that guy's probably not even an artist. He's just some guy who had a couple of paintings and you were kind of, you know, giving him a little bit of grief, you know. So he called me on the phone. And, and told me that story, so I came down and and he told me the story on the phone, I can't remember. Yeah, it's been a long time ago, it's been, geez, I met him. I was in LA for 11 years and this is probably, this is fairly quickly after I got there, not real quickly, but fairly quickly after I got there. So it's been, I've been here like seven or eight years, and so it's been about, geez, probably, I don't know, 15, more than 15 years ago, probably. So um, I took him some more paintings, and then we became friends. And he started to, he would buy all kinds of paintings, and his wife loved my work, he loved it. Uh, and he would introduce me, and then they moved into this big building. The building that you see in LA, that big tall building, it's like with a round tower at the top with these like fluted edges. That was the building they were in. And he had like a, he had a beautiful office there with this fantastic view. I mean, it was like they chopped down every tree in the freaking Amazon to 
build that offices. Those offices are unreal. Unreal. But, uh, and he would introduce me to all these, uh, these people in his, in his firm. And a bunch of them bought paintings from me. So that kept me going for a long time in Los Angeles. It kept me going for a long time. And, you know, just to pay my rent. So I've always been uh, very thankful for that. And he, he, was, he always invited me to the Thanksgiving celebrations that they had. And they would go to, do, they would go to places, like they would go, they would have, well, if they didn't have it at their house, they would have it, uh, they would go to some really nice place for Thanksgiving dinner, like a, like a, a buffet kind of a thing. But, I mean, we're talking, we're not talking first cafeteria here. We're talking really upscale. I mean, this one place we went to, that I think it was a downtown athletic club. They've got some freaking paintings in that place, man, that are phew, highly valuable pieces of artwork in that place. And uh, went there, and, and they would, uh, you know, and, and they would invite me to, you know, things that, like family functions and all that kind of stuff. So it was really good. And so it was good to hear from him. And, and he said that uh, his wife was going through the, through the Christmas card list, and they didn't have my address, so he called me, and I talked to him before I went in for surgery. I talked to him about the fact that you know I had uh, I had this uh, thyroid thing, and so he uh, his wife said that we that we don't have his address, so he called me, and I was in, I was in bed, I was asleep. I had gone to bed early. Earlier, he called here about eleven thirty. Uh, I'm usually awake, but it's it was it was fun, you know, because he, I think it, I think what happened was that that uh, when when they he he called, I think he, I think what he said he called, but he had called a different number and the number was disconnected, you know, and now he's all totally freaked out, you know, that hey, you know, I freaking died and they disconnected the phone and everything, and anyway, he got the number and and called and. So it was a real pleasure to talk to him. He, uh, him and his family helped me out a lot when I was in L.A. I mean, really a lot. They they saved the freaking day on multiple occasions. You know, I mean, I never asked him for anything, and he never took anything. Everything he did, man, was just pro bono. I mean, if he if he sold something, he didn't expect to kick back. He didn't expect anything, man. He was doing it just to help me. And that was really, that was a very special thing. And his wife, the same, it was just beautiful. Uh, I should get out there to see them. They've got, uh, they've got, uh, well, they've got three kids of their own and they have two adopted kids. I mean, they're all their own, you know, they're all, that's mom and dad, you know, but uh, well, that's their, that's their story. And they got, talking to him, he's going, to, he's going to go and pick up one of his sons at college, he's 22 years old, he's going to maybe go up and help him bring back his car, bring it back in a U-Haul or whatever, shit man, time's flying by, because I remember that kid, it's funny, I remember the first time I met him, he was doing magic, he was doing a magic trick for me, it didn't work out, but he was trying, anyway, I just, uh, I remember that setup where I was putting the, uh, where I had the, uh, that setup I showed at the beginning of the video. I think it's really beautiful the way the light, the, the way the light happens. So I think I'll probably end up doing some still photography and playing with the lights because the light really makes things dramatic and, and, and interesting. But anyway, this is just a vlog I did and, uh, I'm still, uh, according to that Geiger counter, I'm still off the scale. So I'm, ha I'm having a feeling that, that there's something wrong with that Geiger counter because it's supposed to have, most of it's supposed to have left my body in three days and it's been, uh, I got it done on Wednesday. So Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, five days. So I think there's something wrong with that Geiger counter. But anyway, I'm Hello Rodney. Thanks for watching and bye-bye. <laughs>